every day I, I deal with the stigmatization of it. Um, um, I had a really bad teacher. She was always putting me down. I felt like I was doing something wrong. And I shut myself down because I just didn't want to be this kid stigmatized because of the fact I couldn't read. Or... I thought that it was my fault that I wasn't able to read. I guess I stigmatized myself. What's it like having a child? It's like preparing for a very long trip to Spain. Where do you begin? What's step one? I think we should do it. Are you sure? It's a big responsibility. We can handle it. I don't know if we can afford. We'll find a way. If there's enough time to. Honey, I'm ready. You get ready. What's step two? How do we put this all together? Tell me where to start. English Spanish dictionary? Lo tango. Excelente. And you have the map? Barcelona, Madrid, and Valencia. We are officially ready. Let's go. You get in shape, you buy a new bikini, you learn Spanish, you pack your bags, you check all the boxes on the list, but sometimes, sometimes there's another step. Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelts. The flight for China is leaving in five minutes. What did he say? Dyslexia. Your daughter shows signs of having dyslexia, the learning disability that deals with reading. A step you didn't see. You were planning for one thing, and suddenly everything changes just like that. But we don't... Was there something we could have done? How do we... Listen, having a child with a learning disability is like preparing for a very long trip. It can be as simple as booking a flight and packing, or as complex as rearranging your entire life to go backpack the world forever. You get scared at the start, especially when you haven't done something like this before. It's not as bad as it seems. With a good support system and working closely with her teachers, your daughter has the potential to go very far. But there's always a way to step off that plane and out into the world. And at the end of the day, you always come back home. And who knows? Maybe China was just the trip you didn't know you were looking for. <laughs> I really, really, really wanted to be a teacher where I can help students who had disabilities to show them that you could persevere, you could become anything. Not everybody's the same and not everybody learns the same. I felt confident graduating high school and I felt I was able to continue with my education and not be scared of not having all the tools that I needed to have. You have one issue, but you have all these wonderful things you don't even know about yet. So go experience it. I've always known that if I just kept moving forward that things would get better. And I really was able to let go of all the anxieties just left me and I truly began to learn how to accept who I am.